you don't pick against Brady. Don't if the Browns win that game Monday, you might look forward with that. You are now listening to the Not Your Average Sports Fans podcast. Now here's your host, Alex Michaelman and the fans. Thanks, Hanson. Hello, and welcome to Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. I am Alec Blackman, welcoming in to the studio, the fans. Guys, how we doing today? Doing good, doing good. Good to hear, good to hear. Did, did we start? We are started, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Okay. so so have fun. Mm-hmm. I, I know. Sorry, I'm still hungry, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm getting ready to pat you down the plate. <laughs> His plate's right here. Throw me anything and everything on that plate, please. And thank you. This plate there. You want anybody? This plate? Couple. Just couple. That's all I need. So, we are enjoying a little bit of food here. Mm -hmm. The kickoff of, well, of our live, of our recording, of whatever you want to call this at this point. That's great. Thanks, man. Show. You know, we're here. Don't mind, please. So, Uh, we're living the dream. We're living it up. Felt like my mic had a little bit of issues there. So, I threw a cheeseburger. There's still some left. I will redo my out. redo my intro a little bit. Welcome to Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. I am Alec Buckling, your host. Welcoming in the fans, guys. How are we doing today? Doing good, doing good. Beauty, beauty, good eating. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Simmer down. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I'm, yeah, good. Yeah, I'm happy. Good. I'm happy, 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 happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. It's just because okay. you have food and beer, isn't, isn't that the way of life? Pizza oh, and beer. Pizza and beer. Hey, pizza and beer. you can't get better than pizza and beer. Man, it is a power combo. Go. No, you can't. It really truly only is. Thing, only thing better is wings and beer. Well, why so don't you put all of them together? <laughs> oh. oh. Ralph, it's not Thursday, so you can't get the BOGO. Yeah, he's not right. Yeah, he's not wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah. day behind. Bogo you do BOGO Thursday, night. BOGO Tuesday. Hey, man, pizza is, pizza is a Friday night thing, though. Be honest. It really is, though. Eh, I'd argue. I think pizza is more of a Sunday thing. I've always done Sunday pizza with my family. No, Sunday okay. pizza. Yeah. Oh. pizza every day of the week. No, pizza has to be a Sunday thing. For pizzas are Fridays and Saturdays, and Sundays, Sundays are for family dinners. Sunday family dinner. dinners are dope. But yeah. I I don't think there's anything better than that break at an NFL game or during NFL season mm-hmm. after the four o'clock games are over, you got that break where I'd have to go feed cattle mm-hmm. and then I have to order my pizza before I start that. So I can pick it up and make it back home before Sunday night football. See, there's nothing better than that. No. Want to know what's better than that? I'm Tell thinking that, that, that is a Friday night thing. Well, Friday night, really you get pizza and then you go out for high school football or that's a Friday night thing. Or if you're you or me, we're, we're back in here. Eating pizza in here. Eating pizza in here. Yeah. And listening to high school football. Absolutely. Actually, and listening and, and listening. to watch it probably because you catch the streams. Absolutely. Working it, doing the whole nine. Hey, well, or Friday nights away. The Sunday nights that I think of is, okay, that, that time between, that's when you go to get more chili soup or something like that. Like, when I think of football, I think of a nice bowl of chili, dude. Okay, I respect that as well, but you have the leftover chili from Saturday and Sunday. You can do them Sunday, too. You can do them both. You got you got to be simple. God, just, oh, yeah, man. that's chili. Really no, pizza's nice and simple, dude. That that just that gave me like I'm gonna have goosebumps because I the first thing I thought of was cool fall morning. Yep, mm-hmm. I have to get to spend a fall where I can mm-hmm. deer hunt now. Yeah, and then watch college football on Saturdays. Yes. So when I think of fall, I think of Friday night lights, mm-hmm. and I think of pizza Friday night. Then Saturday, I wake up early. I got something to do in the yard, get it ready, get it ready for, you know, winter and everything, get packed up. Then you got a Buckeye game at noon. You're enjoying either pizza, you're enjoying wings, you're you're enjoying something that's like a, a party food, you know, mm-hmm. or like a football food, chili, even. And then you get to Sunday and you're like, OK, I don't want to go to work tomorrow, but I still have NFL football. I still have leftover leftovers from yesterday. Power combo. I tell you what's a really yeah. good combo too. Mm-hmm. Doing roosters on an NFL Sunday. Mm-hmm. I respect that. I, I mean, I prospect. I'm right down the road from Marysville. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. But yeah. I will not turn you down on the Sunday pizza thing. But I really do feel like chili is that radio station. So I understand because me and my shout out to my old roommate mm-hmm. and my brother Justin Croswell. We used to do that when we lived together for all almost all three years. Every Sunday during season we would always order padrones had a uh 
think it was like a, a large one topping and a like a cheesy breadstick for like oh, nice. 20 bucks. That's a good Sunday. And we would each order one. Yeah. So I'd eat a whole large pizza. Yeah. I have a completely different correlation for like Friday night lights and stuff. I'm I, here. I, I get it like mostly from my dad. Like Friday nights, it's popcorn and a Mountain Dew. That, okay. Like I'll I'll get that and I'm perfect for Friday night. Then Saturday, you just get hammered. It's college football. Yeah. And I, okay, I don't want to say hammered. I guess it depends on how the Ohio State game goes. That's a, that's Wait, a better answer. Who are they playing? It, uh, they play? Notre Dame week one. Oh, you, hammered. You, you, yeah, you, you got <laughs> hammered. So especially because it's under the lights. Then Northwestern then, Iowa. I'm actually trying to get tickets to that game. Got to know that. Right. Oh, how about a different game? Northwestern Iowa. You're just hanging. Intoxicated. <laughs> What is, who do they play this year? Talking uh, by the first quarter. Is it Arizona or Arkansas State this year? They play Arkansas Arizona State. State. Ooh, oh, it's Arkansas, Arkansas State. State. I think it's Arkansas State. I forgot. I forgot. Go ahead. Yeah, Ray Swan said Arizona State. He'd be punching right there. Uh, I'll probably find all the tickets he can. be getting the press pass. No one will stop me. Burn it off. I'll cheer you on. <laughs> You'll right. probably get them. Right. i got to stop eating this okay pizza. Let's get this thing. I'm trying to get the tickets to Diamondbacks Guardians because they're coming to Cleveland. Uh, That'd be a good game to go see. Oh, that would. Most definitely. Be, uh, the three-game stretch happens to be during my birthday. Oh, nice. So there you go. Looking at doing that on the third, um, which that's not my birthday. It's the day before. It's on the second. <laughs> but I figured I'll do it the third. Give me one of those paper towels. Probably the second. So August third, I'll go up to Cleveland. That's the afternoon game. Um, there you go. My buddy James and I are going to AEW wrestling in Columbus that night, Ooh. and then uh, we're going to the Hall of Fame game that next Thursday or that that next night on Thursday. Yeah, because his Jack's be in town. Yes. The only Jack. thing I heard from that is there's a lot of brewskis that's going to be slammed that whole oh, couple days. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I hear a lot of lattes. Yeah, a lot of lattes. Yeah. So let's get this guy kicked off right. Dalton, what is on the mind? That's Welcome good. back, by the way. Yeah, thanks. It's it's, it's been a it's been a little hiatus going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, my birthday was last Wednesday. Um, kind of worked all day, and then went to Putin Bay Thursday and Friday, which <laughs> that got a little interesting. I'll sum it up real fast. Twelve thirty in the morning mm-hmm. on Putin Bay on the island. We stayed on the island, which was mm-hmm. cool as shit. I love it. It was mm-hmm. awesome. Um. I ended up at Perry's Monument, sitting there at 12.30 in the morning. And the next thing I know, I look up, and there's this little road that runs right along the lake. From like, <laughs> I guess that would be the south tip of the island, yeah. where Perry's Monument is. Oh, I knew it was a cop car. And I just remember grabbing Sarah and saying, we got to go. And we probably sprinted from Perry's Monument all, I, I want to say it's about a quarter, half a mile, all the way back to the, the resort. Um, what else? Has, what else has happened? Uh, now, which side of the monument were you on? The side, so it would have been the side facing uh, the port, Kelly, Kelly's Island. It been the side facing Kelly's Island. So, is that the side facing the port, or is that the That's side over facing... by the over by the jet where the Jet Express is? Okay, so you're facing towards the Jet yeah. Express port. Yeah, okay, we're I facing know exactly towards the Jet. Mm-hmm. Um, so the standard uh, stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So long, and the other thing too, uh, always pregame or bring alcohol to the island. Yes. I think I did the total. It was like three hundred and thirty dollars spent in alcohol. Wow! And six bars, six bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. I'll tell you one of them. So Mojito Bay. Mm-hmm. Which, oh Lord! First off, I will never do a sweet tea mojito ever again. Okay. I got two for me and two for Sarah. Yeah. I want guess the price. Forty six dollars. Eighty. You hit it right on the head. 46 bucks. That's before I did a tip. Jeez Louise. And here's the thing. I I shouldn't have tipped as heavy as I did, but the more I drank, the harder I tipped. Mm-hmm. Let's just say I had a vicious hangover the next morning. Um, we stayed on the island for a little bit, got off mm-hmm. the island, got to Baker's. Yeah, and then other than that, I went to a Kenny Chesney concert last night. That was the other part of my. So anybody that is watching the live or is listening to the podcast, just so you know, if you're trying to get a a higher tip out of Dalton Brown, give him a free beer every once in a while. Yes. 
that would get you more money. Right? He's trying to sabotage me. Absolutely. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to help the economy and trying to help the farmers. For the farmers. For the farmers. For the farmers. Cheers. No, but so. Bop, 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 bop. So, but, bop. but, but you got to think. Here's the thing. Bop. Here's the thing. Yes. You give him free beers to give him the bigger tip. Now the tip's just going to go back to oh, the waitress or the yeah, waiter. It wasn't free. <laughs> no, I'm set, but I'm going back on what Alex was saying. Mm-hmm. You, you give him the free beer, he'll tip you more. It's just mm-hmm. you're screwing the company. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, the last thing, man, I mean, I went to a Kenny Chesney concert last night. Dude, electric. Probably the top concert I've ever been to. It was Cincinnati. Uh, that's the pro- It was... Uh, was it river's edge it's river bend river, river bend. bend thank you river bend oh that place is huge mm-hmm. beers are expensive there as well mm-hmm. <laughs> dropped an 80 piece on six tall boys i don't want to get into it but it's it was fun a painful week and a half for dude you it's it's like, been like a 500 yeah. alcohol and like food not counting food just maybe some food but just alcohol it's not been fun but i'm going to meetings now <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm screwing with you. No, uh, I'm screwing with you. Rich man. No, I'm just screwing with you guys. Hey. No, it's cool. I'm glad to be back. Um, and the sad part is, is I'm back this week, and I'll be in Myrtle Beach next week. So, Bracelet, how you doing? I'm here. I'm here. Um, no, I'm doing good. Glad to be in the studio. Um, work sucked this week. It was boring. Mm-hmm. And it was hot. It was Mood. hot. Um. Went to the crew game last Saturday. Yes. Yes. Um, they ended up in a 1-1 tie with Charlotte. Um, I spent $60 on nachos, a hot dog, and four tall Miller Lights. Broken tacos. What? 60 Beers are expensive <laughs> at the crew game. Yeah, they're like 12 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for a tall yeah. can of Miller yeah. Light, yeah. Hold on. Did you just say you drink Miller Light? Yeah. When did you start drinking the little light? When you brought it in a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we got him drinking baseball beer. Baseball. It's also soccer it's beer. Peer pressure is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Don't say that. It, it is because oh. it is because I walked peer in pressure. and you said, here's a beer. <laughs> and I went, oh, beer. <laughs> hey, we're starting to get to that point in our life where our favorite beer is the one right here. Okay. An open one. Our well, favorite that's... beer is the one right here. It rhymes. There you go. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think a free beer beats the one that's right here, though. If okay. I'm... Do you have a free beer open, though, at this time? No, you don't. I have a free beer open here. <clears throat> You're somebody, welcome. Somebody paid for this case. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's not free for him. And me. I'm someone. I'm yeah. someone. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> for the farmers. Wait. Do we need to go to therapy? Might as well. <laughs> Family therapy? <laughs> anyway. Family time. <laughs> anyway, Clay. Oh, I I don't know. I didn't really come prepared for what's on my mind. I guess so. I've literally just been kind of thinking while you guys have been talking. So, I mean, over the over the, I've been doing nothing but working. So my life hasn't been too too eventful. I guess, but I mean, the yeah to to the farmers. I'm going to go ahead and stay sober tonight myself because I've been having a little too much fun raising it for my fellow farmers but um i mean the only really things i got going on i mean we got fair coming up obviously work's finally starting to slow down but mm-hmm. as soon as that starts to slow down fair's here so yeah now i've got to uh help set up with all that obviously since i'm on senior fair board and i'm excited for that that's gonna that fair is always fun to me and the only other thing that i've really done is sarah or i went and bought sarah and i tickets to go see luke combs down in kentucky for our two years assuming she'll stay that long so <laughs> I'm I'm pretty confident she will. My Sarah. My yeah, Sarah. My I got, yeah, yeah, I got you. Good call. Yeah. So I mean that, the initial which Sarah we're just talking about now. Yeah, that that that's really about it. I mean, I watched the NBA draft last night. It the coverage was mid, in my opinion. I think that they need to work on their coverage for next year, in my opinion. Where but, where were they, by the way? LA? I, uh I think Brooklyn. I think they were in Brooklyn, yeah. The Brooklyn Center. Yeah. Well, it was it Brooklyn? Or yeah, it was Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn, I remember that. NH NHL was in LA, wasn't it? There was something that was in LA this year. I thought NHL. I think 
I can't. I just, I just find so, it really sad when the highlight of because uh, granted, I only watched the first 14 picks and I had to turn it off after the Cavs picked. I just I couldn't watch it myself. But it's kind of sad when the highlight of that entire thing was listening to Knicks fan boo and cheer. <laughs> like that was literally the highlight of my entire night. Yeah, they made a draft pick and traded him. Yeah. With Kimba. Yep. Yeah. Wait, they made a draft pick and traded? Yep. Yeah. Like right after they picked him. I don't want to. We yeah. can talk about that later. I don't want to. That's, new. That's a draft thing. It's a draft thing. They weren't the only team that did that. The Horns did it, too. They drafted a center, then traded him, then Cleveland picked, then they drafted the next best center. They did drop Little Brother, though. That's just so confusing, though. Mm-hmm. Like, why? Because mm-hmm. it's the NBA draft. Why not? Yeah. It's the NBA. Chris, what's on the mind, man? <sighs> it's been a long week. Mm-hmm. But hot, sweaty, swamped ass. But it's the weekend. Did your baby water turn to pancake? Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had lunch. If that's the case, I might need to go out over a little more. Actually, I, I showered. So oh, well, that's good. I didn't feel like going into the phone. <laughs> what? But, uh, dude, uh, my, my phone is dead, too. <laughs> uh, it is in the car. I have one in the car. Uh, Paul has one in his office. Yeah. Scrap Paul's. It'll be all right. Yeah, just do one from his office. Your jacket. Okay. What? A charge. Whoa, this is a this is a family stream. Bullshit. Bullshit. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I was kind of hoping Ray would screaming. No, he did. He did. Oh, he good, did. good, good, he good, did. good, 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 so, good, good, good. Anyway, ready for the weekend. I got a family thing. My sister and grandmother and I are going to head up to, well, my sister's already in Ashland, but my grandmother and I are meeting her in Ashland. We're going to do the Hot Air Balloon Festival. My grandmother's been talking about it and kind of getting her out and about. Because she hasn't been doing much besides working in the yard and everything. So doing some family stuff tomorrow. But definitely here. Definitely ready to talk sports. And hopefully ready for the weekend. And hopefully the weekend goes just as slow as the work week did. So, Chairman. Uh, no charger? I didn't know where it was at. <laughs> that, he's here, so. Oh, who's here? Hi. 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 Hello. Great. Great. Right here. Got video on. We're good to go. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the week has been good, man. Huh? Good. Well, since nobody else is going to do it, I'll just do it myself. Hi, hi, chairman. Hi, 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 chairman. Hi, chairman. How you doing? Hey, man. Thanks, man. I'm doing good. Oh, that's on the mic. Um, I'm happy it cooled off a little bit this week because it was hot. Allegedly, and I mean <laughs> hot this week or last week at least. It was warm mm-hmm. last week. Yeah. And you had talked about like getting borderline heat stroke at work. Yeah, that's. Like, yeah, that's just that mm. yeah, too hot. Well, he was in, and uh, you had half of that and everything, right? Yeah, so I was, I'm, I was working with some highly corrosive chemicals, and so I had to wear a hazmat suit. And, uh, it was Monday, yeah. And what was, which was one of the hottest days of the week, and wore the hazmat suit for the first two hours of work. And, yeah. uh, I walked back into where I usually do, where I usually work, and my Team lead was like, you're looking pretty red. So, I'm like, all right. So, I went back in, took the hazmat suit off, went back in, because at that point, I didn't need it anymore for what I needed to do. So, I walk back in there, stand by the AC for a couple minutes, and he comes up to me about five minutes later and goes, okay, now you're really pale. And I'm mm-hmm. standing there, I'm, like, my shirt, my pants are all drenched in sweat. You went into shock, mm-hmm. as my mic wasn't working, it's all good. Yeah, I... You're having problems with the butt tonight. No, uh, it's just the actual microphone. It's fine. Oh, yeah, the microphone is rough. Mm-hmm. But, Long story. So yeah. Anyway, so every I'd have to go back. I had to go back in because I mm-hmm. still had stuff to do back in the hottest part of the shop. Yes. And every fifteen twenty minutes, you know, I'd get done with the yeah with what I needed to do for a little bit and go back in, stand by the AC, get some water, and then go back in fifteen twenty minutes, come back out. And, Did you grab Gatorade at all? No, I grab, but I did grab uh, Propel on the way yeah. on the way so, home last. I'm gonna be honest with you personally. I would have not stepped in front of the air conditioner. Yeah. That's what put you in shock. Yeah, that dress. Thank yeah. you. That's mm-hmm. it, it's one of those you have to gradually work yourself back. Um, so it was not chug that Propel, sip that Propel, and then mm-hmm. work yeah, to I larger. Yeah, it. because I was gonna use it for my softball game that Monday night too. Yes, okay. and, and another thing of water. Borderline heat stroke. And a saw. Oh wow! Well, so by the time I got into lunch, mm-hmm. I was fine. Yeah, because I, I would just keep taking breaks, and yeah. mm-hmm. I eventually it got to be. We take lunch at twelve thirty, 
uh, got to be 11 o'clock and I was done with what I needed to in the hardest part, hottest part of the shop. So I just I went back into where I usually work, sat down, started doing some more work, and I cooled off and I was fine. Perfect. 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 But it's been a good week. I've got a lot of stuff worked on. It actually feels like summer. It's it does a hot feel week. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm, a, I'm an odd big guy. I love the heat. You are a weird big guy. No, I love it. I, 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 I am a guy. We did just have like, the first day of summer. Yeah. Well, I, I, thanks, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am definitely the guy that. Well, when I when I was coaching, I was in long sleeves yeah. outside in like 96 degree weather. It was amazing. Yeah, you're one of them. Yeah, I am one of them. I would definitely rather be working in this type of weather year round than to work in like ten degree weather in the winter. Oh, without I, a doubt. I I believe you have a different answer. Oh, absolutely. Because oh, okay. in, in ten degree weather, you can add layers. When it's hot like this, I can't strip down to my underwear because the night's frowned upon <laughs> and I'm gonna get fired from work. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Hold your tongue. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <Carry on. laughs> uh, but well, better better. To be honest with you, uh, the the prime temperature of life is seventy four degrees outside. No, wrong. Sixty. Uh, yeah, okay. Sixty. Well, okay. So if I need to do things outside, <laughs> I want seventy four and overcast. I can. Do overcast. I want no, seventy four and overcast. Hey, sixty eight degrees, like mild clouds, like. Not a lot a of, little bit of sun. A little bit of sun. I respect it. Perfect. I respect it. You don't want to get a lot of this, huh? You'll have this. This is what happens. I'm I'm finally starting to like not. Dude, your tan is coming off. I had to break hay all day Saturday and Sunday, and so I ended up getting burnt and I peeled throughout the week, and now I'm a lot better now. It doesn't bear repeating. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Well, that's a uh, Mike's off. Yeah, yeah so, that's a uh, Mike's off thing. Good week. It's just, I'm happy it's summer, man. I'm happy. Yes. we can we can do fun things, enjoy mm-hmm. life, and pools are open. Like it's just it's it's good to have a summer that we can be out and doing things, you know? Because like we haven't had two. This is the first official summer that we've had all summer. Yeah, last summer there were still restrictions. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah. holy. Oh, shit, this is your out. first official summer yeah. in a couple years. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but let's get this guy continued oh, on. Now there's a monkey thing, so. Ah, uh, we don't even need to. <laughs> we don't even need to be getting started on all that. <laughs> no. no. I told him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. So, so, Chris, Chris, I'm looking at this doc, and uh, you had put in that there was free agency moves and trades, or has there not been? I don't know if there really has been. I feel like this is not time for them. There's been some talk about it, but there really wasn't much. There is some big things that did happen. The fact that everybody wants to say Baker is going to your uh, Carolina Panthers. I'm so glad you're in here right now. I'm going to, why would it ever come out of your mouth that Baker would ever put up? Mm, the Browns jersey on ever again. Thanks, man. I, okay, I feel like for the sake of our fans, we shouldn't spend too long no, on this. I, no, but I know. I've been here in a couple I know. weeks. I, know. I, I, I listened to it on the way. I listened to the podcast on the way home. Five minutes. <laughs> I, no, I, I don't just, even need five yeah, minutes. Yeah. I just need like 30 seconds. I listened to the podcast on the way home. I think it was Sunday. Yeah. And I heard that comment, and I immediately got on the Snapchat and blew my lid. He is never putting that jersey on. He's going to Seattle. I don't think Carolina. So, am I good? No, you're good. Keep okay. going. You're out 20 seconds. No, I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. He's going to Seattle. He's not going to Carolina. Do you want me to speak my piece on why I think that? 30 seconds on your piece. I mean, 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah, the only, now. yeah, the only reason why I said that was because you've got Deshaun Watson, obviously, who's definitely going to get suspended. If Baker, no. if Baker wants that contract for a contract year, you suck it up, you get paid extra. Amount of money and you go out and play. It's on. And I heard Pat McAfee say this today, actually, or yesterday, I believe. He said, "You only make it au- or it'll only be awkward if you make it awkward." I'll leave it off on that. Okay. Yep. That, you know did that exactly in thirty. That you know what? That, that was good. That was good. But it's not going to happen. <laughs> Move on. Okay. It is a so, um, but all the bigger talk, all that done, cut, boom. Uh, okay. Gronk retired. 
Gronk retired. Oh, we talked about that on Wednesday. Give your thoughts. Give your peace. Uh, Gronk retiring. Uh, why? Um, why? 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 Why wouldn't he just try to find another team? Partying. I, uh, he can make. Oh, party yeah. app. Forgot about that. If he can go have fun, dude. Hey, technically, I'm one more year with Tampa. Okay, but either way. I don't. Gronk, uh, Gronk retiring. Good for him. He was. Have a ball. As he mentioned since then. I really think he's going to become a sportscaster. Want to know what he can do? Huh. Yep. He can be a sportscaster, but then he can go do appearances on WWE. He can go do appearances yeah. on literally anything and make just as much every, money. Everyone else has a little game. And the thing is, too, that he does time to time. Everybody to wants Gronk to do something because Gronk is just the life. He's the he's the party of life. Yes. Not just the party for the party. He's the party of life. Every dude that watches the NFL. Life of the party. Why did I say that? Every dude that watches the NFL sits back and says, I would have a beer with Gronk. Oh, I want to. Every Everybody that watches the NFL or knows who yeah. Rob Gronkowski is wants to have a beer with that man. And oh, if you don't, I have very many questions why. There was a kid... There was a kids event going on where it was like a play 60 and Gronk was there. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, the gritty is always the big dance and everything. Yeah. So the kids were doing the gritty, just celebrating. Gronk joins in and then someone says it's not called the gritty no more. It's called the Gronk because they show Gronk doing it. I, feel like I we, like it. I feel like we have to somewhat keep an old mind about that retirement, though, because like oh, he, he definitely retired. Like there's no offense or butts. But if he were to ever come back, you can't tell me Brady wouldn't be able to convince him. Yeah. I mean, it, he already tweeted once they said Gronk's retired. Brady he posted back. He's like, "We're not like the one meme where it's the dude calling." Yeah. Do you do you see what Gronk? And then there said was another one where it said it was a meme of Tom Brady and Gronk, and Tom Brady's looking at Gronk saying, We're, "You're not retiring until I retire." Yeah, Gronk. Uh, someone yeah. said something about Gronk like Gronk's retired twice, Brady's retired once, and Gronk was like, "Well, Brady doesn't like to lose things, so." <laughs> <laughs> if only. Ooh. Then the NFL will be happy. Mm. Man, I'm really having troubles with this guy. Yeah. Really? It's all good. This is the first time I've ever really had troubles with that. It's all good. Fair enough. But definitely, uh, Gronk. speaking of Gronk, uh, the Patriots, man, they're bringing back the red unis. They are. The Pat Patriot uniform is coming man, back. I know we highlighted it a little bit Wednesday in the live, but definitely want to. I know you were unavailable to join, and so were you. So what do you guys think on it? I play with them on Madden. I mean, I think they're cool on Madden, so I imagine that it'll translate into the real life as long as they don't try to... I mean, I know that sounds pretty, like, dumb to say, I guess, but I don't know. I, I don't I don't have a ton of thoughts about it. I think it's, they're pretty cool, though. Yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. I like to see the variety. I don't think that's right. something I want to see more every week, but you no. play a Thursday night game mm-hmm. instead of, like, doing those color rush uniforms, like, mm-hmm. they had that stretch or that, like, a Thursday night or a Sunday night game. Mm-hmm. They did, I mean, they... They're going to bring it where it could be a prime time or whatever day they want to. Yeah. And usually they wear at least twice a season. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm happy that we're going to see more than just, we're going to see New Jersey's issue. I, I really, really don't have any standpoint on it. I mean, a jersey's a jersey. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, a jersey's a jersey. It looks cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm happy that they can have alternate helmets now. Oh, 100%. Yeah. That's the fun part. Uh, to quote the great Deion Sanders, mm-hmm. look good, play good. Yeah. Prime time is the best. That is true. Look good, play good. I I didn't have that when I was playing. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't really care what I had it on. So yeah, Dalton, you were more worried about getting into the backfield. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. to be fair, if you were in the NFL, I think you'd have a different mindset though, because you you, no, you want to sell your way. jersey. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Pretty simple minded, dude. No, no, I <laughs> too. But I feel like you'd have to open up to that. Idea though a little bit like if you were uh, the NFL level, just how I am. No, I don't think I could. I, I mean that that's just me. Being yeah, me though. But I don't know. I see jersey wear jersey. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's Dalton. What number am I? <laughs> that, <laughs> that's that's, that's my number. I can barely count to that. <laughs> Wait, do I know this color? It's uh, 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 red. <laughs> so um if anybody sees my car sitting on the side of the road still running um you know where i am <laughs> no they won't no they won't okay you know some minor vicinity of where i may be no, no, they, won't. County. no they won't <laughs> allegedly allegedly <laughs> well you know where my car is <laughs> yeah okay okay then okay then awesome <laughs> <laughs> 
damn it, dude. Come on. <laughs> so, in some fun news, because we have a great group of guys in here that will, that I think will have a very similar opinion on this one. Uh, Ohio State has officially gotten the trademark for the. The. It's about the damn time it goes through. <laughs> it's been three years. Yes. Yes. I hope we don't get trademarked for that. I hope not. Either. We're <laughs> talking about them. I don't think we're anyone. Right, yeah, that's good. And I, we know. Yeah. We know the David McCall is upset about it. So, anyway. Trademark. <laughs> he gets no, I think about trademark. Trademark's probably only if we put it on a shirt. Oh, we'll okay. 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 We're, we're good. Guys. Okay. We're okay. Let's talk about our favorite university. Right. My buddy so. Pat is a USC fan and he hates the fact that it got trademarked. He's like, well, why would they do that? That's stupid. And, and he's a USC fan. So USC's thing is fight on. Yeah. And so I texted him and I said, hate on. <laughs> How's it feel that they got Lincoln Riley and not winning the Pac 12 this year? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't have one in the oh. well. Anyway, we're not doing college prediction yet. So, anyways, Clay, what do you think? I think we're gonna need to clip you saying that because I don't think you can go back on those words now. Dude, I'm not going back on it, but it, we're not. Yeah, you okay. you've, you've, you've dug yourself a hole. Already. It's on video. It's on video. We I'm got you in 4K, yeah. Chris. We officially got like you. In 4K. I don't say it. USC is not winning the Pac-12 this year. Moving on. Pablo got you in 4K. Yeah, bro. everybody knows who it is. It's Utah. Yeah, if you're if you're smart, call Utes, baby. Football, it's Utah. The Utes, baby. The Utes. The Utes. The Utes. So, as much as we are giving Utah, we we need to hear Clay's input with Ohio State getting the. I just love it. I mean, I'm I'm keeping it plain and simple. I don't have I don't have much to say about it. I just I love it. Any anything Ohio State wise, like that obviously benefits them whatsoever. I mean, I'm obviously all for it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, not really much else to it. I guess. Yeah. Keep it plain and simple, right? So I, I want to hear Dalton give his piece on this because we chatted a little bit about it this week. And uh, you you were actually getting fiery when I first started talking about it a little bit earlier when we were prepping. Um, you know, my, my, you know, the CTE. I'm like, the, what are you talking about boom. right now? Yeah, exactly. So um, it, it, everybody blew up in the last couple of days talking about the Arch Manning committing oh, to my Texas. Texas. Lord. So, Chris, you uh, you wrote a little uh, little piece to chat about there with uh, can the program turn around? Uh, first thing is first, he has to officially sign the paperwork, as Dalton would say. Thank you. Yes, and he has to sign the paperwork. Yeah. So, Dalton, get on your soapbox. Get on your soapbox. Get it down. Get the soapbox. Get her down. Get, right. Give it the sniff. I know you do. It's a rule. God, it still smells good. Yeah, of course it does. It's, so it's, it's going to smell so good for a, hopefully a while. You don't know that. Mm. I, mean, I don't. I don't watch that one. Still... Okay. We're hoping it does. It doesn't mean anything until he actually signs. Verbal commitment does not mean shit in the game of recruiting. You could, like, I could have verbally committed to Ohio State. Okay. But I signed with Ohio Northern. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it doesn't mean anything until you actually sign the paperwork mm -hmm. for that college. Mm -hmm. You can say you it, they're they're making this so hyped because it's his first commitment. Mm -hmm. And on your comment, Chris, no, Sarkeesian has to turn the program around. Arch Manning isn't going to do shit with that program. That's why I'm just that's no. when I added it. I'm just saying now with Arch Manning on. Gonna gonna thinking about. All right, here, and the, okay. this is just crazy theory mm -hmm. here. He committed, verbally committed to Texas. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting back and I'm thinking, what college program just got top wide receiver recruits? And how well would that fit in with a quarterback mm -hmm. spot opening up in a year? I predicted Arch Manning to go to Ohio State at one point. No. no. I was thinking about I know. I, yeah. it's, it's a wild theory. But I was thinking about it because I was like, man, that'd be cool. Because I think Fleming would still have another year. We have all those top recruits. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just and we got three more recruits that were yeah. coming in. So, but I, I seriously don't think he's going to stay at Texas. Oh, and there's all well. these other like I was listening to ESPN News on Sirius XM, and they were like saying, oh no, this is a great choice. You know, if you want to go to into the Big Twelve, warm up, and then get ready to go to the SEC, I'm like. 
Guys, you guys are talking like he signed the papers. I've he read through it. so many articles. There's nothing there. Yeah. So as a recruiter, as a head coach, it's like, cool. I got someone that says they're going to come here. It's almost like saying you're going to go to a party. And then all you do is just leave the case of beer there and you don't show up. And you go and sign somewhere else. I guarantee that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Yeah, mm, I think so. Too. Bring all, bring all the booze. He's gonna have all. I mean, or, uh, metaphorically speaking, he's gonna have fun down there at his recruiting and stuff. But there's so many other calls. I, what, he's got a couple other visits he still has to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, am I wrong? I'm, okay, I don't Probably. think he has another even. I thought he did because he went, went to Virginia, I Alabama, has, Texas, and Georgia. Georgia. Mm -hmm. I think and he, he loved Georgia there. too. Yeah. I was like, why didn't he go to Georgia? That's mm -hmm. right. I really think so, too. Yeah, I think he's pulling strings and he's end up going look, to Georgia. If there, if there's one, and right. As your sleeper, I, I could see Virginia because of what he has there. Well, yeah, he's got family connections. And I said yeah. that, oh, God, podcast ago right. when we first started And I could see that. Him. But if he does an SEC school, I see Georgia. I, I don't know why he, he would first verbally commit to Texas. I, there's nothing there. They had zero draft picks. Hey. He just said he verbally committed, so he could just say horns. Don, yes. I'm a good flip that, and I think the horns are coming back up because I personally believe that he's gonna end up going there. And the only reason why I say that is obviously you have Quinn there now, and I honestly think Texas is going to be pretty decent. They're in the Big Twelve. I mean, I I'm obviously a Quinn bandwagon. Quinn, I think Quinn's gonna be pretty great in the Big Twelve. But think about this, okay? You've got. 2022 2023 with Quinn and Arch comes in 2023, so he right sure it's his freshman year. Mm -hmm. Then possibly plays in 24, maybe, maybe not. It kind of depends on where their situation is at quarterback, but yeah. I have a feeling that he doesn't play in 24 either. And then he starts playing in 2025 because obviously the Mannings went through the SEC and stuff, so his first year is going to be in the SEC. And what other way than to make a name for himself? kind of in a way than to go out and kick some ass in the SEC playing for Texas. Like his family obviously has played great in the SEC in college. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you've got a brand new school coming into the SEC. I mean that yeah, Eli really have that good in college, yes. Yeah. Yeah, his college career he, he was, was uh, fantastic. Tennessee. No, that's Ole Miss. Ole Miss. He was Ole Miss. That's oh Ole Miss. yeah. And Eli went to Ole Miss. Yes. Sorry. And Cooper Manning even, which was the oldest Manning brother. Yes. yes. Yeah. Cooper played receiver. Because if, if he ends up, like, let's say he goes to Georgia, for example. Okay. Like, I mean, he can obviously win there, mm -hmm. but it's going to be somewhat overshadowed with Georgia's success recently. Like, granted, Texas, I think, is going to be a 9-10 win team in the next couple of years. It just, I mean, they're, they're in the Big 12. I, I don't think the Big 12 is all that great. So I think they'll be a 9-10 win team. And then if he goes to the SEC and puts up, like, a 10 win season, 9 or 10 somehow... Then he definitely just made a name for himself. I don't know what your guys hate on Sark and Quinn are. I'm not hating on Slater. Sarkeesian has been a joke since 2013 when he took the job at USC saying, I'm going to do these great things. And he was mediocre. The Big 12, has, mediocre. Been a, the Big 12 has been a joke for about a decade. Sarkeesian so. is going to ruin both Quinn and Arch man, Arch Manny. I, I, Arch easy and well. I don't agree. The only way the two of them can make Texas good is you're replacing Sarkeesian. Yeah. Look, if I'm Quinn Ewers right now, I'm not sweating anything. I agree. No, 100%. He's not he sweating anything. Because making money, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Yeah, and he is in for well, the money. Okay. We found that out. Okay, hold on. He probably does. But he's not sweating anything. No. Quinn Ewers has got that starting job. He's fun. Oh, Gwen's got it. Arch isn't going to play his freshman year. How how often do you see true freshmen really play? I understand he's a Manning and all this other stuff, but I mean, with with a school like Texas, they actually they have some other top recruits too of quarterbacks coming in. They already have them, or they're coming in, or something. I saw a TikTok about. It. I don't really recall who they are. They but had a couple going, but I think they ended up either pulling their name or going in the transfer portal. But I mean, either way, I I really think that. Quinn's in a great place. I mean, he, he's going to end up starting yeah. and playing. Yeah. Because if Arch comes to the city, at least a year at minimum. Right. I get you. But no, Quinn's got the. I, I'm with you. I think Quinn's got the starting job and everything, but I think Sarkeesian's just a joke and he ain't. Quinn's not going to do any good under Sarkeesian. 
just like JT Barrett his junior year with the Ned Warner offense just ruined him. I saw a picture after uh, Manning committed to Texas. It was uh, the therapy circle, and it was a it was a picture of Quinn Ewers. His face was posted over somebody else's, and then it cut to uh, or the, the the next picture was uh, another person with Tate Martell's picture looking at him and going, "You too, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I had here's the thing I, I I'm kind of contradicting myself because I really did have high hopes for Texas at the beginning of last college season. Mm-hmm. Now I have zero hope, and nope. I'm staying. I'm staying there. I am. Not with Sarkeesian. Yeah, but I I don't really fully yes, understand why. Hope. That that because that that was good. Who who wins the Big Twelve then? Realistically. Who wins the Big 12? Oklahoma's Baylor. gonna suck this year. I think Baylor. Oh, well, actually, Big 12 this year, I think it's either Baylor or Iowa State. Baylor you know, or Iowa State, State, man. I don't know, but I'm thinking Oklahoma State yeah, could be a sleeper. But he got to the Chiefs. You know, Clay has a point. Because let's say Texas actually does mm-hmm. stay in the Big 12 until the time is up for them to actually move and they don't move earlier. Yeah. Because what don't they play in the Big 12? Defense. Thank you. Yeah. It's going to be quarterback class heaven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For guys true. like Quinn Ewers and offensive Manning. players, even mm-hmm. receivers. Actually, picking back off that, if we're talking about some of the top quarterbacks that are in the league right now, most of them came from Big 12. Patrick Mahomes. Yep. Uh, I mean, technically, Josh Allen was Mountain West, but yeah. that's still out there. Yeah. Mountain West is um, the that's I mean Wyatt. top two right now. Mm-hmm. Kyler, Kyler was Oklahoma. Oklahoma as he started at Texas A and M. Yeah, well, I mean, his first year he started his career. Top three young guys coming up in the ranks in the league are Big Twelve players. Yeah, I still honestly I still don't think Arch Manning is going to be there in Texas when it comes signing day. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let, mm-hmm. Let's wait till uh, February. God, was it February sixth? The signing day? The start of signing days. It's like the start might, of signing days. That might be the Under Armour signing yeah, day. You got a computer in front of you. What's signing day? Usually, it's you have one in your February. pocket, bud. Your phone's too far away, even though it's sitting right here. <laughs> Sheesh. I thought it was third. I thought it was somewhere Say between again? the third and sixth. Say what days you had? A third be- between the third and sixth. You said February sixth. You said third or fourth. I said sixth. I said middle of February. Guess? Twelve. I don't know. First. I'm closer. I win. I just threw a number out there. How do you win? A slice of pizza. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I am full too. Uh, same. Turn it up. Here, just take the box. <laughs> hey, yeah, here you go. Just take the <laughs> cheeseburger. Yeah, it's two pieces. Two cheeseburger. Thanks, man. Lunch. Thanks, man. So, well, moving on. As my tablet fell asleep, I got me. it. It's all good. It's uh, Jim Trussell stepping down uh, from uh, yeah, so we'll see. Look, oh, yeah. studying hard. Smart. <laughs> at least you had to read. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I read. I, I read. I redact <laughs> the uh, the counting. Boy, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, you are smart. You got a bachelor in science. <laughs> <Nerd. Allegedly. laughs> what your smartness throwing off my stupidity. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was the Didn't other one. Right? On <laughs> clip from The Simpsons when it was the one scientist walking oh. by Homer rolls the window down and stick, sticks his head out of the window going, nerd! So, uh, quick shout out, Sherm. Uh, see you, bud. I saw your comment. It's just uh, I was kind of jumping around different platforms and everything, trying to see the comments. Yes. Not much is up, sir. We are hanging out as always. As always. Hi, Sherm. But Trussell is stepping down as Youngtown State's Youngstown State's president in February, as I didn't say it really right. Yep. This um, February he'll step down. So started at Youngstown State, goes to Ohio State, goes back. Yes. Yeah. Boom. Mm-hmm. You and I were chatting about it a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Youngstown boys, one of the best, mm-hmm. one of the best thirty for thirty. The only thing I got to do is shake his hand when I was there as the intern for a little bit. Yeah. It was cool. I mean, it, it, he's a cool dude. Yeah. 
talk with them for like a second. So, uh, so hi. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, hi. I said hi. Yeah, that's about hi. it. You know what he? Well, hi. How are you, you? Know what, you know what he needs to do? What do you got? At some point, either hopefully, well, I guess it wouldn't be this season, next season, or maybe within the next two or three. Uh, Ohio State needs to let him dot the I. Just, Please. just to let it cement. <laughs> no, I, I think think it's been is. twenty years. Right? Yeah. It's been, why, this year. I don't know if he can do it, though, because he's not... Ah, uh, yeah, he's not he's still taking pulling it down contracts. yet. Yeah, that sucks. That's actually an interesting topic. Well, no, no, no he still could. He has no coaching affiliation. No NCAA. Yeah, that's just Nothing. president. Uh, he's just a president state. of a university. Have I'd they, love to see it. Yeah. I'd love to see it at the Ohio State Michigan game. Absolutely. Have they ever let someone like that, like, dot the eye, though? That, oh, they've let old former players... Mm-hmm. Um, John Glenn... John Glenn dot, dotted it. They went about the wheelchair. I don't think it's not going to happen, though. Uh, John Glenn? John Glenn? was the last one. Yeah. Was it? A few years ago. I may be botching the hell out of this right now. Mm-hmm. Um, 2018? Well, one of the first old. games in 2018, maybe, was when John Glenn did it. I can't remember. But there's more than just the, uh, I can't remember the instrument now, the dots the eye. The tuba. Tuba. Tuba, tuba, tuba player. Tuba, yeah. That was a sousaphone player. Nope. Tuba. Okay. Because uh, my French violin band director thought of the <laughs> one year. Nah, I'm just probably making that up too. Yeah, you did. Mac violin, like Jeff Jarrett used to with a guitar. Fair enough. But yeah, no, it would definitely be cool to see Jim Trestle out the eye. That would be home games. That would be huge. Speaking of people that are getting honored, yes. uh, Miami of Ohio is honoring Sean McVay, who is the Rams head coach, mm-hmm. uh, with statues. As, is, is that plural? There's uh, other coaches. That, coaches? I'll have to read what statues there were, but... He's... Wait, Miami of Ohio has statues? I think it's within the oh, coaches. UES. There's yes. one. Give me a second to see if I can pull up the article on the ESPN. Yeah, here's the thing. I didn't even know Sean McVay played. Sean McVay was a... I, I mean, I know he played, but I didn't know he where. Was wide receiver at Miami of Ohio. Which, fun fact, he played the same years Julian Edelman played at Kent State. That's awesome. 2008. Was it 2000, 2007? My bad. Mm-hmm. 2007, they showed him going head-to-head. Because Julian Edelman played quarterback, and Sean McVay was a slot receiver. I'm kind of with Raceland here. Like, I mean... I, I could be 1,000% wrong, but did Sean McVay do anything like relevant-wise to even like, earn a statue like that? Though? Oh, like, yeah, he have, won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But that's not... For that's an not, NFL team. I, I'm, in, right, in my I'll opinion, if, if I... He's going to get a statue outside of SoFi Stadium? Shut up. <laughs> that, Who knows? When he's done coaching, probably. He that, could. He was technically the first one in that, in that building. So, McVay... No, I get it. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds that, like bias. Just connection, you know. Because it is. Because he's your dad. <laughs> wow, look at that hey. picture. Wow. Oh, that's, he's young. Oh, young, when young. he was at Miami of Ohio. Wow. Yeah, he was there. Two thousand six. This was his sophomore year. Yeah, he was there for three years, from two thousand five to two thousand seven. Okay. But there are currently nine bronze statues in the cradle of coaches outside Jaeger Stadium in Ohio, including Paul Brown, Bo Shambler, Woody Hayes, okay. and Era Parsegan. Mm-hmm. Apologies if I botched the name. Bo Shambler? Interesting. Yeah, Bo Shambler. Shimbeckler? Bo Shimbeckler. Yes. Yeah, Shimbeckler. Yeah, I was going to say. Apologies for botching that one, too. <laughs> I'm reading it quickly. You can botch it. He coached Michigan. Who cares? I hate and, to be that and, guy, though, but, like, why? I, I just, it's not like he did something in college football. Like, he did something at the next level. That's kind of why I'm looking like, it up. See, he was solid as a slot receiver, as I was looking it up. He oh, yeah. he made some stats. I think he had the... He he, got, he, always bro- <laughs> no, he actually had a thousand-yard season, I think. But interesting, I mean, as on this article, did they win a national championship? No, who cares? Move on. No, they, they made a statement in the MAC. No, I think they won. The Mac speaking of that, who put that in the group chat about the most winningest team without a title? Oh, that was me. And who's at the top of the list, baby? Thank you. That's not something to I'm proud of. Seven or sixty-seven wins, no titles. That that sucks. I they're, hope they do win a title. The same group as Wisconsin. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Back yeah. to this interesting fact I just read on this article about McVeigh. In February, McVeigh joined John Harbaugh and Weeb Eubank as Miami University alums to win the Super Bowl as a head coach. 
Hmm. So John Harbaugh also went to Miami of Ohio. We just need to go to Miami of Ohio so we can be coaches in the NFL. That's what it sounds like. Let's <laughs> load up the car. We're going to Oxford, boys. Well, Sean McVay played quarterback when he was getting recruited by Miami. Yeah, and then he, moved, reading so he ended up moving there. I'm not getting any, any stats or anything. Okay. I'm just finding that they're honoring him. It It is pretty much because of the Super Bowl. Okay. I, I'm not fine. I I can't find any stats on him. Um, when was the last time he even uh, Miami of Ohio up. Red Hawk player? Oh, hey, look, I found him. That is. Can you imagine that? Race yeah. About all it. you have to do is just type in co- or Sean McVay college stats. Clearly. So he played in his freshman year, six games, one catch, six yards. Um, Two catches. He didn't even break that. <laughs> Carol's going to a quarterback through a pick. He had one carry for two yards. There. I got it. Uh, two touches, my bad. His, his sophomore season, he had 12, 12 games played, 20 catches, and 189 yards. Okay. I was way off. Um, yeah, 198. Sorry. When it comes to eights eight and nines, I'm dyslexic. So, yeah, I get them flipped. Um, four rushes for or sorry, five rushes for four yards. Okay. Um, and then his junior year, he had eight games played, 18 catches, 108 yards. Okay. Three carries or 23 yards. Uh, you know what he has big old zeros in? Touchdowns. 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 This man never scored a college touchdown. So it is because he won the Super Bowl. I mean, he has to. I'm not... Okay. I, I'm not going to diss anyone that's like, they're going to give a statue to to like honor him, but in the same retrospect, like I guess if I was in that state... Like if I was a college, I would have want to honor someone who like changed our program or mm-hmm. like turned the program around, kind of or like won multiple national mm-hmm. cha- something like that. Like yeah. that that's just me. Or yes. like in the NFL, but if you're gonna do it for someone who, not saying he didn't do anything in Miami, like he obviously clearly put stats up, but he really only won so, at the next level. So I feel like that's a weird. So what you're saying is, is guys who turn uh, football teams around. Oh, and you need to put Dalton statue outside. No, 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 no. I didn't turn it. It's in the works. Around. No. So in 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 this, <laughs> does if they're just giving if Miami of Ohio is just giving statues out, are they going to give one to Big Ben? Eventually, I think they said yes. Probably. Okay. Probably down the road. That's a guy that actually turned that college around. Yes. And made a name for himself in the NFL. I, that's a point. Point. Finley High School. Now I'm even more or, uh, school. shit wide receiver at Marshall. Randy, Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Moss. I'm Does even, he have a statue yet? Probably. He turned. He turned a lot of programs around. We are, baby. He, I mean, hey. He's got something there. I could I probably call what. my buddy Will. He's still down there as an assistant strength coach. I hmm, obviously got a Marshall game. I obviously hate Big Ben, but that just honestly annoyed me the fact that he doesn't have a statue for what he did there. They're giving Sean McVay one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, again, what McVay did obviously is great in the NFL. Like it, you, it takes a lot to win in the NFL, but like. And he's the it. youngest yeah. and he did it in college. Ball. Yeah, so that one hurt to admit the Big Ben one. That that one, yeah, you, you yeah, really hurt me on the sides. I know we're hitting Raceland in all the fields tonight. I forgot about that. We're hitting well, all of them. Well, want to know what? How about how about we tug the happy happy heartstrings here for a second because uh, they're in Iowa. Uh, they are going to be letting the Children's Hospital patients pick the Hawkeye Wave songs at. Uh, Iowa football games. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, most definitely. That 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 that's awesome. That is just like make you just a little bit better people right there, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's time to look to Iowa schedule because for, uh, for that news they're upsetting someone. And here's the thing. If yeah. um uh, Iowa needs history. it because their recent history too. Yeah. Yeah. Iowa definitely needs that. Um I think that tradition they had since twenty seventeen is also awesome. I didn't know this. I was listening to uh, Busting with the Boys this week at work. Mm-hmm. Greg Kittle played at Iowa. I didn't know that. George Kittle? George, or George, Kittle. Oh, George Kittle. Yeah, I'd see. Yeah. Yeah. No, Will, no, you're Will good. Compton did the same thing, too. I did it, too. I yeah. was genuinely confused. I was like, yeah, uh, George Kittle. George Kittle. I didn't know he played at Iowa. Greg is his evil yeah, twin. <laughs> Greg Olson, yeah. Oh, no. Greg Kittle is his evil twin. No, no. Yeah. I just, <laughs> no, it's because they're just. George Kittle is just George Kittle. Yeah. He said yeah. Greg. I said Greg Kittle. Kittle. And I said, That's his evil twin. Okay, either way. 
I didn't know George Kittle played in the Big Ten until yeah. literally Friday. Mm-hmm. Really? Or not Friday? Or not? I know that's because it's like Thursday. I'm today years old. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> no, I knew that because yeah, no actually was solid. Because I yeah. think he played it against us in 2013. And actually, you guys should go. That podcast was elect- That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. It was really good. Uh, didn't they have someone else on there? Well, it was yeah, Josh, Josh Allen, Allen was yeah. on there. I, yeah, I, I Josh seen Allen clips of it because I saw a clip good. of Josh Allen oh. talking about the like it hurt more to lose the coin toss in the actual game because he lost both the coin. Yeah, and Will Compton game. pulled yeah. that stat on him, and it was just awful. Yeah, mm-hmm. you could just tell in his voice. And then Josh Allen ended up getting off the bus, and then <laughs> George. George looks he looks at Will and says, "You really had to bring that up." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would never bring that up with a guy like him. Josh Allen is going to be a dominant force in the league in the next couple of years. I really enjoy the fact that like more players are getting involved in podcasts and stuff because I just I enjoy seeing that aspect of like what they're doing in their sport and their point of view and the sport and stuff. The only person that I will never listen to his podcast is Draymond Greens. I know I've kind of switched sports there, but like I'll listen about any football one, but like I will never listen. Heard to his Draymond ratings Green. went down. Yeah, they yeah. probably they probably or they probably went down because he was doing his podcast in the middle of finals because everybody was bashing him when they lost. But I mean, they won a title, so it's hard to bash someone, I guess, when you win a title. Right. Mm-hmm. There you go, sir. Thank you. Thanks for that. Going on there. Yeah. Well, that's at least college football. That's all of our college Hope football. Some other college football I'm missing. I don't have diddly squat. Well, we can always chat baseball. Well, you know, uh, I'll stay on the. Uh, what you got? I do. What do you got? Ohio State's recruits this week at wide receiver. Oh yes, thank yeah, you. Fine. Two five stars and a four star Carnell that Tate. are going to be fantastic, and I'm going to love it what every amazing, second of it. What an amazing wide receiver room. Because Marcus, who's going to who's going to be the quarterback, Seabers, coach? Who's going to be the yeah the greatest recruiter? Oh, one hundred right now. Yes, yeah. right now one hundred percent. The next biggest question is is who's going to be quarterback? Yes, when it comes time because uh, uh, Noah Brown coming in this season, and then Dylan Royola coming in in two seasons. Devin Brown. I don't know. Royal just got the Dylan Royola got recruited. Devin Brown just came in this year, right? And, and I get Noah that. Brown. And I get that. But when it comes time, um, obviously there's going to be a huge quarterback battle between the two of them. Mm-hmm. And Dylan Royola just got the nod as the number one player in his class. Hmm. In the, the official, honest, the official well, number one. Because it was rumored and people were like, oh, yeah, he'll be number one. He got the official nod for number one. He did. But Royola is going to be class of 2024, right? Yes. Yes. So so here's my thing. Because I see, well, depending on Stroud, mm-hmm. but Stroud has a spectacular year this year. He's I, he's I don't he's see him. He's leaving. No, yeah. he's gone either way. He's projected uh, first round. I mean, I'm projected right top yeah. three. Right. <laughs> he's projected but number one. Here's so. also the thing. God, I can't talk to them. And we Mike and I actually mentioned this when we watched the spring game. Oh, right. Yeah, no, CJ Stride, most definitely. No, you're fine. But I was just saying, because Mike and I did a road trip to the spring game, and I'm watching. I legit think once CJ Stroud is gone, Kyle McCord's going to transfer, and it's going to be Devin Brown's team. Devin Brown was on point with everything. I see Devin Brown... Manning the ropes behind Stroud when Stroud leaves, and he's going to have at least one to two seasons under. And then when Dylan comes in, whether Brown leaves after the second, either Devin Brown will still have one more year playing with Dylan Raiola backing them up, or Devin Brown will be pretty damn good where he's able to go into the NFL and Raiola takes over. So here's what they need to do. Because I, I do not see McCord after this year. I do. Because here's what I think is going to happen. I think McCord will lose starting job. Anyways. They Stroud leaves this year. McCord has one year left. Okay, it'll be next season. You redshirt Brown this year. Mm-hmm. He can be the backup next year. Take over for two years. You redshirt Royola his freshman year, and then when Brown leaves, whether that's after his junior or senior season, depending on how well he plays, you've got Royola right there ready to go. Yep. You can see him for two to three years. Interesting. I I actually can see that just because like I mean I feel like there's too much hype around like these top high school quarterbacks like coming in and playing as a freshman like you don't see freshman quarterbacks play at these top tier mm-hmm. schools like yeah. it's just it's how it is especially i think we're going to see it even less than what we do now 
maybe they might not even play their technical sophomore year or mm-hmm. like if they redshirt or whatever. So their second year, I guess you should say. Their second because year because like, like freshman year. They, you know how much NIL money they're going to get? They're going to be like, oh, there's no point in me really playing. I mean, I believe they'll still battle for the job. But yeah. I mean, at the yeah. end of the day, I mm-hmm. think when they have their meetings with coaches, it's not going to be like, oh, yeah, you know what? You're giving me this part starting. Sp- I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, we don't know obviously what happens behind closed doors, but I just feel like with NIL deals now, I feel like they'll be more willing to like, oh, yeah, you know what? I can sit for two years and not play and be content with it. Right. But no, I'm just, I just think Devin Brown's going to be better than Kyle McCord. I, I read that. That's why um, I was thinking that. Go ahead. Between Carnell Tate and Brandon, how do you pronounce his last name? Ennis? Ennis, yep. Between, Brandon Ennis. Between the two of them, they're going to bring in, I think, what is it? 16, 17 plus million dollars in NIL deals. Wow. Mm-hmm. Did you also know the stat for Ohio State players right now? First one to pass a thousand, a thousand, NIL, a thousand, deals. A thousand NIL deals between the whole university. Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, I was going to say it's not just the dishing them out, dude. <laughs> yeah, dishing them out. Yeah. See, that's why one of my buddies brought up an inst- interesting thing. Okay. He said that even though we got those top wide receiver, it's actually Canton, too. Okay said that even though we got those top wide receiver recruits, he said they'll never see the field and they transfer out. I think he's completely wrong on I that agree. because you're playing for the top recruiter in the nation mm-hmm. and you're playing also with the top wide receiver coach in the nation, in yes. my eyes. I see what you did there and with but, the. Yeah. yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah I see what you did there. That. So, yeah, I, I, I just, it, it, that comment that he had, just it really got under my skin because I'm like, dude, <laughs> No, the, the, he, the, he's going to play at Ohio State. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the best receivers coach in the nation rotates his receivers like that. Yeah. I mean, so they're that's, definitely getting Fleming, rotation guys, time. Okay. Fleming wasn't the best wide receiver. Fleming also fought injury. So how, yeah, how hard Fleming rotated Fleming, I understand. That's why. I, but I honestly but think when Marvin Harrison it? Jr. outside is better for Fleming. Because I think Fleming's better right. in a slot. Fleming got rotated in beginning drives. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or after conversions. So conversions of second, you know, just back to yes. first down. That's the only time you ever saw Fleming in for short, dinky little passes. Yeah. Even Everybody knows what he's doing. Oh, Those guys are going to get time. Yes. That I don't think they're going to transfer they're out. They're talking about starting, yeah. which, okay, I see it for starting, but Hartline rotates his receivers like nothing. Yeah, you're, you're going to be back in the the number one receiver on the depth chart, which is Jackson Smith and the Jigba. But you still got Marvin Harrison Jr. First round, you yeah. still have Julian Fleming. You still have Jalen Ballard. And you got Caleb Burton coming in. And then you got these guys coming in. Hartline rotates the receivers like nothing. And that's what I love about Brian Hartline. Mm-hmm. Not trying to show my receiver love, you know. Because your ex receiver. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Former receiver. I just love it, you, you know. You bring up a valid point, though. I feel like why well, I- State is one of those teams, like skill position wise, where we're so deep that we're okay with rotating. I mean, granted, oh, like 100%. When, when, when it gets late into games, I mean, I believe they know, like, yeah, these are we know it's like, we want in. Yeah, yeah. I, we're going with these guys. You yeah. guys understand, it. but you still can. Like, they'll, like, you're gonna have Jackson going, and if Jackson needs out, you know, oh, for a play or two, yeah, we know the next guy can get it. Next well, guy up going in, we know that he can yeah. get the. And, it, and it's just not. It's not just receiver too. It's running backs oh, because yeah. Trayvon well, Henderson yes. is going to be the man. Trayvon is the starting running. But back. you've got Maya Williams back in the got Mayan Williams back there. You've got a plethora of running backs. Mm-hmm. I think there's a freshman four star coming in this year too. Yeah. Yes. Um, you've got a plethora of running backs that are dogs mm-hmm. that are going to be ready to roll if Henderson needs a break. Absolutely. Dog. I, yes. I think Henderson's going to make his own breaks when he walks into the end zone, and then he's like, okay, thank you, defense. Give me, give me. I'll be, I'll be what, honest. What, I think you'll see a repeat of last year. Yeah. And then we can probably hop, we should probably hop on to whatever yes. we got next. Yeah. Henderson is probably not going to get a lot of snaps in the first couple. Okay. Notre Dame, yes. Notre Dame, yeah. Notre Dame, yes. He's Arkansas playing State, that game. Get Arkansas State. Arkansas State. Maybe first quarter. Toledo. He'll, he'll, Toledo, he'll, he'll get maybe first, first quarter. I saw, yeah, he'll get his yards. I saw something on Twitter, and it definitely has me convinced. Some person said that Travion Henderson has the potential to possibly be the best running back to ever go to Ohio State. It's it's laid out for him. He's What's got the he's got numbers the that he has to He's saying he will be, but he has the potential. With I, 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 I got to look at those numbers. Yeah. I don't know about that. Numbers. I don't. I don't. I don't know. With, with how great. 
or pass game is going to be, the run game is going to open up. I mean, he's, yeah, well, he has the potential to be the best running back by far that we have ever seen ourselves play at Ohio State, like yeah. in our generation. But, I mean, it's also I hard to beat Eddie George and Archie Griffin, though, at the end of the day. Yeah. Right. But Hopper. So, Hopper. Griffin Cassidy. had uh, 5,589 oh, in 72 to 75. 5,500. 56, we'll call 56. him. We'll round him up because he's a, he's 11 short. Yeah. Of 56. I, mm, I don't know. It might be a stretch. I mm. think, so, so we can rotate on, um, the biggest flaw that we're definitely going to have to watch out is uh, the front four of the defensive no, line. There is no flaw. The, it, you, you mm-hmm. that. I saw something on Twitter. Yesterday, two days ago, flaw is a bad word. Bad yeah, the, the the what we need to keep in front seven consists of three five stars mm. and four four stars. Mm-hmm. I'm not concerned with the front four. I'm concerned with the secondary more than the front seven. I've I've seen a lot. Right. I've seen a lot of people, and like it's obviously like a stretch, but people are saying that they think that Zach Harrison is going to sneak his way up into like they they're so bold they think he's going to sneak his way to top five Heisman voting. I'm like, I, <laughs> that's a stretch. I, but Zach Harrison will still be solid. It, Zach Harrison maybe won the solid. I, mean, I don't know. I, just, I think we're going to see finally a different team because so, you, you get to turn the dogs loose. That, that's what Knowles is going to do. Bro, no. So I want to get back to your Harrison no. point here. He yeah. has 1,248 yards right now. And he, we've got yes. season what and year? next season with him guaranteed. He he was a freshman last year. Yeah, a true yeah, freshman. A yeah. True freshman. He has to play four years to beat Archie Griffin. Yeah. He has to play four years. Yeah. Well, he won't. No, no, I agree. But he's, he he's, he's, he's said that, they said years. the same thing with Zeke, and Zeke left his junior year. So, and Zeke was Zeke's like just shy of four. Yeah. Yeah. I can see him surpassing Zeke. That's it. How? Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see him. I can see him. I see Zeke. I can see it. So, yeah, Zeke's official Zeke's, number what? was 3,961. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he, he passed that. Eddie, right? What? Yeah. Okay. Eddie was 3,768. What if Zeke's Trayvon second on the list, I think. Passes, or yes. surpasses 4,000 rushing yards in three years and also gets what? He's got, he got 15, I think, last year. Dude, you're and talking Heisman play. numbers. You know that, right? That's yeah. Heisman. That's Heisman level. Someone said Travion will get in them by Heisman. Yeah, for three years, that's that, Heisman level. He had fourteen touchdowns. I do, I do believe he has that potential, though. I'm. I'm I never said. That. I know. Yeah, I don't I'm not just agree. Potential. I just I think with it. how our passing game has been the previous years, I think our run game is about to open up like uh, open up like none other that we've seen for a while. So. No, it yeah. most definitely yeah. will. What's next? <laughs> well, well, let's stay on the college topic, but college baseball. We are now in the Men's World Series Championship. And who is it? Oklahoma and Old Miss. Oklahoma's going to win. They're going to take two home. Hey, Chairman. Yeah. Are you all right with your Arkansas statement you made earlier in the week? Yeah, well, you, I already told you. I already knew it would happen once I said Arkansas would do something. I said it on the live. Oklahoma was going to take two World Series home. Yeah, yeah. I love Old Miss. I will, I love. Yeah, I, I watched a lot yeah. of Old Miss stuff baseball when, yeah. when I was uh, in high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, Oklahoma is going to take right. two World Series. I was going to say it's at least going to take all three games to figure it out. Hey yeah, man, Oklahoma winning it. The College World Series really has been fun. Oh, it's, it's been a lot. It most definitely has. Even. Uh, Women's. It's been oh, awesome. Oh, Sasha 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 fun. Yeah. yeah. The baseball is everything. It's it's better. Did you guys see uh the baseball stat that they have at Omaha? No. With <sighs> fans buying shots. Jello I did shots. not see that. I they keep a board up of every team that starts out who buys the most jello shots. Because that's their thing. They're like four fifty a piece. Yeah. And I remember seeing a number like two thousand. Jello shots. Four fifty a jello shot. Four fifty. How big cents. are they? Are they like the normal? Oh my like, god, they're this big. Yeah, I, I would hope that they're about that big. I'm hoping it's like a double shot. Uh, it, uh, t- double. <laughs> I want. I want a cup of pudding gel, like the cup of jellos, dude. Oh, uh, pudding. No, shots no, no, are no, no, no. Pudding shots are disgusting. Yeah. I mean, there's no alcohol in pudding shots. Yeah. <laughs> Mark that. <laughs> 
Noted. <laughs> Too bad he can't mark it alive. Right. <laughs> no. I don't know. Maybe you can make some good pudding shots. You make hella jello shots. Thanks. He man. does make so, awesome jello shots. Those peach ring jello shots, man. Oh, the peach rings. Chef's kiss. Which I am going to redeem myself at some point whenever we do a tailgate. I do have a better large mixed drink to make. I know. We have talked about it. Yeah. I'm not using Everclear ever again. <laughs> and then he'll pause never them. again. Never again. Never ever. Let, never, we might ever. need to clip this just never, to make sure. Never again. I'm never. Oh, no, it's 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 done. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's stamped for approval. It's, it's already stamped. Stamped. It's got Dalton stamp. I can see this already. I think we're gonna end up throwing a rager week one of college football. Oh, gee, might, yeah, might as well. One hundred percent. And Dalton's probably gonna bring out the Everclear again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, hey, no, we, we lose. I'll keep it on tap for you. That shit was. Paint thinner and pipe cleaner that I made. Yeah, it cleaned your pipes. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. did clean my pipes. <laughs> and all the Flintstone gummies you got to retake now. <laughs> I've taken three jars now, thank you. Three. Hey, at least you make you ca- you got it. You're catching up now. It's bad. It's so bad. It was bad. It was that was a rough, rough day. It was. It's that was a rough so day. Rough. But want to know what's not a rough day? To what? The Stanley Cup Finals, man. Yeah, I, I saw a tweet. Is it going on right now? Game five right now. Game five in Colorado. Colorado's up 3-1 in the series. Tampa Bay's up 1-0. <laughs> Damn it. Why do you have to ruin my Friday? Hey, it's what? okay. It's still the first period. Oh, well, my Friday well, meal. well, no, no. They were up 1-0 early on Wednesday yes. night. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Yeah. And, and they were home too. Yes, lots of overtime. There's still a, a lot of game to go. Holding this up on my phone. I'm, I'm smelling holding a, on. I'm smelling a blown three-one lead. No, don't stop, stop it. I I, I I sense it. it. I was getting ready to say basketball season is done. We got to be done with the team. But you got the little whistle, and then your what? What is it for the box slashing? Yeah, pre-football season, you can throw the flag. <laughs> yeah, penalty and box. I, <laughs> now, we got to get I, I said I smell it a blown three hey. lead, and they don't seem to agree. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, we'll, Two minutes. We'll, we'll <laughs> unsportsmanlike. <laughs> that is unsportsmanlike. Want to know what? Because we stand Colorado today. <laughs> yes. Yes. However, Nazir Kadim is, so, is back. We, uh, I can't so, remember. I know we mentioned it, or I was mentioning that they were missing him, but he was back for game four. Yes. And he's definitely back starting game five. And they said he's back to how he was. And as I'm saying that, Landon Scott was credited with a hit on Victor Hedman in the offensive zone. So, yes, more hits. Let's have more fights. I'm here for it. So, what I want to get to yes. is the controversial play in overtime. Okay. Of that game. Did you guys see it? I actually fell asleep. <laughs> I did too because I was intoxicated. Interesting. But, so the Avalanche were going in for a switch. Yes. Guy coming off the ice. Uh, Nazir came in mm-hmm. and he came off the bench, got the puck, went in and scored. Okay. Uh, uh, typical um, hockey move. There's players that have done that right, before. Right. But here's the issue. Yeah. The the lightning coach is claiming he was not within five feet of the bench when Nazir came in. You have to be within five feet for that, that change to happen. So he was out there with a ruler. So no, te- well, technically they're claiming there I were six see John men. Cooper out there with a the ruler. They Anyways. were. He, he's claiming there were six men on the ice. So too many men on the ice. Yes, and it's it's not a reviewable play. The NHL yeah. came out and said that. Um, Tampa got away with a penalty earlier. I can't remember if it was this series or a series beforehand. That was very controversial, and there's no word about it. So Tampa Bay has gotten away with plenty. Tampa, so. guess what? Karma, karma bit you in the ass. Are you watching it? Of course he is. Just, yes. Phones want to be tricky right now, so. Oh, that's cool. I mean, we can use my phone too. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we can use mine. Oh, that's about dead. Never mind. Mine ain't dead. You can save your battery. So, Chris, let's chat about some of the hirings as well uh, going on in the NHL. Seconds because my title fell asleep again. Yeah, there was one yeah. we didn't mention last week. Tort. 
Yeah, yeah Torx feels, is not with the Flyers. I feel sorry for Flyers players. Yeah. Uh, Cam Atkinson reunited. Yeah. Uh, they can't tweet what about Flyers. What thinking about? I think it was Cam who tweeted. Did Cam Atkinson have a tweet on this? It may have been Cam who tweeted, prayers up for Flyers. For at the Flyers. Someone tweeted it, I can't remember. But Cam Atkinson, it's a re- reunion for both Torts and Cam Atkinson. Maybe it wasn't. Either way, it was no, no, it wasn't Cam because it was a former. It's a current Blue Jacket player. I can't remember off the top of my head though. I can't. Sure. No, no, I don't think it was Boone. No. Who was it? I remember someone. Either tweeted. way, <laughs> why? Why? Why did they hire him? Just why? Why are so desperate? They wanted a coach. Well, yeah, I understand that. Bring it, Roslovic. Yep. No, it wasn't Russell. You know, I forgot he was in there. Yeah, I did too. Come on. Come on. Come on, bop it. Now you got me curious. Welcome back. Yeah, it's pretty comfy back there. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, Torch, uh, is then you have uh, Peter De- is that- DeBoer. Uh, Peter yeah. DeBoer. DeBoer. Okay. Let the. Got fired from the Vegas Golden Knights. Now he's with the Dallas Stars, and he came out and said, "I am surprised I got fired, but I still the Golden Knights." I... Yeah. Why did he get fired? Why? Yeah. Why? Because they didn't make the postseason for That's the first time ever. For the first time, probably ever. For the first time since they were founded, what? Five years ago. Five, six, six years, years ago. ago? Yeah. Because I was still in college. Yeah. Because their 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 inaugural in, inaugural season was yes. twenty seventeen college, yeah. and they made it to the Stanley Cup. Nah, it, wasn't, it was sixteen. 2016, I was, I was 2016, 2017. Yes, thank you. Mm-hmm. That season, because I was still in college when it happened, because I I watched Gold Knights and Blue Jackets on the TV at the radio station yep. when I was doing a shift. But that was the first time in five, six years that they hadn't made the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Fired him and they fired him because they didn't make the playoffs. You don't know what else was going on, though. I care! You know. Air, you I almost swore. I, I had to stop myself. <laughs> he took a buzz. I had to. I, I. I had that filter had to get cleaned. Nice. So, perfection. Yeah, I got him too. I'm trying. To, it's all right. I'm trying to think of the blue jet. Wasn't Bjorkstrand? Who are you I'm talking about? Who tweeted the, out the prayers for the Flyers? App. Yeah, prayers that Flyers. Because that was a former Blue Jacket player. I think it's current. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. My phone's charging. And I'm not worried mode. about it. Uh, Panthers would also you, hired you. Take that off, would you? Oh, uh, Paul shoot. Maurice from the Jets. Take that yep, off the yeah, ex-Jets got fired and then mm-hmm. hired with the uh, Florida Panthers. There were a lot of coaches passed around, you know? Yes, there was. Interesting. But that's at least a few. And we also had the awards ceremony in the NHL, too. Good golly, okay. I'm trying to figure out what's going on there. So I'm I'm totally lost right, here. What's going on over here? This off, so. Yeah, I'm getting ready to say I'm like I'm totally lost with the what the situation is over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta know. turn it off. It, we were just focused. Uh, it, it's the end of the first. Uh, Tampa's up one nothing still. Yeah, so not happy. No, I'm not happy. Not happy. Fuck the yeah. lightning. Yes, I'm with <laughs> it. They were up in the first Wednesday night, and Avalanche came back and won. Positivity. There's still two periods to go. Yeah, there's a lot of hockey. To plenty, of right. it's plenty of hockey. I'm trying to find the awards and remember. I want Colorado talking. to win. I really want Colorado. A lot of people want Colorado. Colorado, to Colorado. Win. I want Colorado to win as well. Yes, but I'm not ready for hockey to be over. I'm not either. I, I don't think we share the same feelings on that. But it's okay, football. You want to watch Super Bowl, but you don't want to because it's the last yes. season. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why we need the Pro Bowl after the Zoom. I can't tell you you're wrong. I can't. I can't. Thank you. That's a lie. I, can't. I would can't. be lying. I would be physically lying. And I'm not a liar. Bullshit. <laughs> I, I, no, I, ain't you a truther. Well, I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> there we go. Oh. So the NHL awards were the other night. Mm-hmm. The Hart Trophy. Which I believe is the actual MVP award. Winner was Austin Matthews from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Only thing the Maple Leafs can win. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> the best goalie 
I can't remember how it's pronounced, and I do not want to botch it. Here, we'll do it. Yeah, I got it. What is it? Uh, Vinzia. Vinzia Trophy. The Vinzia Trophy, which is the best goaltender. Igor from the the rookie from the Rangers. He won it. Igor? Yeah, Igor. Oh, Shashir skin. E or Shashir, Igor. Shashir skin. Shashir yes. skin. Mike Shashirsky. <laughs> if only. Mike was asking. <laughs> Carter Trophy. Mike which is rookie of the year. My question is, where's your paperwork? Wow, okay, it's fine. No, I, I got it. it. I'm forever. I'm not I'm not yeah. I what? Forever. Paperwork. Reported. I'm done. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this one's going to sting you a little bit because your, NHL, your Chell team had a nominee and didn't win it. Mort, Mort Snyder. Or Snyder. Botched again. Just turn Rookie the phone around. Huh? Oh, I will read it. Just turn. We'll botch it. We don't yeah, care. we'll botch it. Exactly. <laughs> it. I'm not an English major. They all know this. Any, so, Rookie from the Red Wings won it. And I guess he also threw, as he was doing his speech, he threw shade at his parents. His parents went on vacation. And they were on their way back from vacation and missed the award ceremony. So he threw shade at his parents. Like, at least my, fr- at least my friends came and Supporting me, unlike my parents, who just went to vacation and said they were tired and couldn't come to the award ceremony. Hey, let them live. Yep. They're on vacation. So yeah, yeah. Ted Lindsay Award, again. Most outstanding player. It's Austin Matthews. Norris Trophy, which is the top defensive men. It mm-hmm. is Kale McCarr. David McCall? Who? Kale McCarr. David? David, <laughs> David plays <laughs> hockey. <laughs> what? Allegedly. Oh, Hacky, hacky, hacky. Macar. I thought he played a hacky sax with himself. <laughs> I didn't. Whatever he does in his free time, he can keep it to himself. Art Trophy. Sorry. Most points in a regular season. Not sorry. Connor McLongshong. I mean, Connor McDavid. David. <laughs> Again? Right. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Next. Rocket Red Shirt Trophy, which is most goals in a regular season. Austin Matthews. Selk Trophy. Best defensive forward. Yeah, I'm not saying his name. It's with the Bruins. We don't care about the Bruins. Uh, fair, enough. fair enough. Fair enough. Master Ten, Master Ten Trophy. Master Teague? Who? Yeah, Master Teague's <laughs> got a trophy named after him. Nice. Anywho. Master Gary Teague? Price. Montreal Canadiens. Huh. The Lady Bean Trophy. Player who exhibited the best type of sportsmanship and gentleman play. Kyle Connor. No, it says right there. You want to read it? That's Bing, not Bean. Bing. 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 It sounded like Bing. you said Bean. I said Bean. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Anywho. Huh? I'm just letting him roll. Keep you going. Keep going. Roll. Again, something that can't be repeated on air, I'll tell you later. This, oh, great. This is a off mic conversation. Right. We have three or four. You guys are out. Okay. <laughs> have fun. All right. I'll bring you back when we need you. William Jennings Trophy. Goalies from the Hurricanes. Frederick Anderson. And NT Ranta. Mm hmm. <laughs> They're freaking rolling in there. Holy hell. Stop it. The camera's catching you. The camera can see that. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's still a couple more. King Clancy Memorial Trophy is PK from the New Jersey Devils. Jack Adams Award. Mm-hmm. That's Daryl Sutter from the Calgary Flames. Yeah. Mark Messier NHL Leadership Award is Anse Kopitar from the Kings. Mm -hmm. And the Willie O'Ree Community Award is Noel Acton from Baltimore. And those are the NHL Award trophies. Well, want to know what? I think we need to do our own award show. You want to know why? Yes. Because we got people in the penalty box. Look at our king. Well, guess what? Chris is done reading off the awards, so want to know what time it is? 
It's time for our awards. <laughs> our awards. Oh, no baseball. Okay. <laughs> we talked baseball. We really don't have too much to talk about in the MLB. They're they're Guardians in first place. Well, you know what? You're right. Why am I not even talking about that? Now, the youngest team in baseball is in first place. It's in first place. In all of baseball. What? They're electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Boogie, woogie, woogie. They're the youngest Trade in all of baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal. They are the youngest team in baseball. They are not the best team in baseball. They're the youngest team. That needs to be brought up. Hey, they're first in the Central, though. Which is still a feat, because the Central is actually really showing out this year. At least the top two. Well, top three. And we're tied at two. At the bottom of the sixth. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. The youngest team in both pitching staff and uh, batting lineup. Given that said home runs. What? Is that a man, the myth, the legend, right behind the chairman? Hi. I see. Hey, uh, you got keys. You saw the pictures. You saw the pictures. You want a piece of pizza? We're in. You want a piece of pizza? I may grab We're it. talking about the piece of pizza. pizza. There's a cheeseburger pizza over there. It's actually really good. I'll have a piece of cheeseburger pizza. Bodies. You. I fell downstairs. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> All that oil. Anyway, could you let uh, Deputy Jake know that I appreciate yeah. it? Deputy has got us in. Okay. Oh, he was he was running to call for an Uber. Oh, good. Oh, 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 all good. Mm-hmm. So uh, good to hear that uh, deputy's having an eventful Friday night. Yes, should be that one. Good to hear. Oh, I'm, I've got comments. I didn't read. Bro, what? Come on, man. Uh, your mom said, "Hey, I had better pizza." Wow, that's that's a low blow. This pizza is great. And you are right. We do have to have hockey. Pretty good pizza, isn't it? Pretty ball of pizza. That's a cheeseburger pizza from OK. Legit. Mm -hmm. That is a solid pizza, man. Definitely a real good pizza there. But Guardians, first in Central. Uh, Really, I don't think anybody else has really changed too much in positioning. Um, Because I think the Yankees are still top of baseball and everything like that. So We don't care about the Yankees. Yeah. And really, everything else, I believe, is... Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Oh, what what did he get? Ain't bad. Didn't he first initially get Clyde Mill for a year? Ain't bad. A year? Yeah. For a baseball player? A baseball Not bad. Player? Who's up and down? Who's up and down? Yeah. He can only hit a fastball. He's getting better at hitting. Hey, Pedro Serrano, that type of money? No. no. <laughs> Okay, but look at the other big baseball deals that have gone around right now. Schmini would be happy. His St. Louis Cardinals are tied for first in the NL Central. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just trying to say hello. Dog, yeah, I mean, that baseball everywhere. stadium is named after a beer. Yeah, it's Bush Stadium. That, you know, that's why. It's the only thing good about the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, it's everywhere. Stadium. Beers everywhere, Dalton. By the way, your mic hasn't been on, so haha. I hate you so much right well, you now. You want to know why? It's because you guys had to go to the box. Yep. You lost. You not to. You're not to. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Can we get off our awards, man? Let's take, let's take a brief so, break. Let's yeah. go to the awards. Absolutely. Let's get to our awards, sir. Sir, my number one question is who's your bum of the week? My bum? Your of AFB. The week? AFB. Oh, I got two. Oh, you got two, huh? Got two. But you missed out, so we got. No, 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 no. I just got two. And That's just saying, you gotta catch up. Yeah. Um, my first AFB of the week is people that get too drunk at concerts. Okay. And my second AFB of the week is the price of concert beers. Why? <laughs> Why? Why do I spend eighty dollars on six yeah. tall twenty-five ounce cans? Hey, I got two Ying flights, two Bud Lights, and two McUltras. How about we just eighty dollars? How about you for a two dollar can? Dalton, wrap that up into one big and just say all events. Yes, oh, yeah, all events. Because beer is expensive at almost all yeah, events. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, just all events: mm-hmm. concert beers, game beers. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, <laughs> except for two dollar Miller party mm-hmm. at the mm-hmm. Guardians game mm-hmm. or baseball team is what I say. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, why? Why? Mm-hmm. why? There's such a high quantity. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying charge a dollar a can mm-hmm. because then you just have alcohol. You have drunks everywhere. It'd be like every West Virginia game. <laughs> Seriously. 
We need to go to a West Virginia you game. You need to go to Mountaineers game. Yes. I'm 100% for it. I'd like to go, to go to the Backyard like to Brawl. See they, I would like to go see the Backyard Brawl, mm-hmm. but no. I think it's in Pitt. What? I think they're doing initial site. You, what? Oh, I okay. think. I think. They hate us. Yeah. I didn't know this. Literally. Oh, well, I didn't I didn't know. Ohio State, to be fair. Fair enough. Mason, yeah. AFB. Uh, my FB of the week is the um, the Charlotte fan at the crew game the other night last week. Um, Carolina scored, or Charlotte scored their uh, goal. Her and her son stood up and started cheering. Her son bumped her arm, and her drink spilled on me. Party foul. Well, she has the drink in her hand, and her son bumped her arm, and it went on me. Part of it, not at all, but, but part of it. Yes. That kid is now the in the five years. She, goal, probably. She, she did apologize, but at that point, I was too intoxicated. I didn't really care. But still, that kid's cursed. He's like, dang it, we gave up a goal. Well, I was mad we gave it up. Other, word, not, other words were probably said, though. Other words were shouted because the officiating crew was not very good. Oh, I it. heard. I heard the uh, officiating crew was horrible. I started Sucks. yelling. Greening. I started yelling. Why does every major league ref have to suck big? Yep. Yes. Big one. They, they uh, went to big, the uh, Joe Hernandez School of Officiating. Yes. They all had to have. <laughs> outside of like the two or three in each sport, but that's it. But anyway, Clay. AFB. Uh, I think I'm going to do something for. I think will be the first time. I'm calling someone in this room one of my AFBs. Yeah. It's going to go ahead and it's going to be none other than Mr. Dalton. Uh oh. I... You got a lot of nerve, boy. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason I say that is I cannot, I cannot fathom how much you spent on alcohol at these events. Oh, oh. shit out. That that's the only reason why. I bought for two other people. <laughs> I know, but you've got to like pregame or something. I did. Do you not? Do you not know who you're sitting across from? Yeah, he's all yell during their AFBs. I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. You might need. No. To, might need to pregame with some stronger stuff then. <laughs> Chris, what did what? Uh, real quick, what did you pregame with? Think. Lattes. Diet lattes. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't tap water. water. How many? Ten. Sixteen ounces. <laughs> oh, I, or Chris, sorry. <laughs> Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on before I start yelling. Yeah. Hey, well, and it's AFBs. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm not see, my, Well, I did have an honorable mention. My honorable honorable mention for AFB was me because I had two good AFUs last week and I didn't use either one. So my one's going to be an honorable mention. Okay. Anyway. My actual AFB will probably be the New York Knicks. Talking about, yeah, we're going to drop this guy. He'll be great and everything. He'll be great and everything. And then just not even, I don't know, let's call it not even an hour later, you trade away the pick with Kimba Walker. And it's like, mm-hmm. uh, so you rebuilding or what are you doing? We participated. Just get him a trophy. Don't we, don't we have a trophy? I think Clay. That's right here, right here. Yeah, actually. Clay brought up participation trophy. Participation trophy. Nicks for trying, but not trying. So, Chairman, you got this on clearance. <laughs> That's why that was named Proud. Who's Clarence? Ah, oh, he's cool, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, I, I Chairman. It, so, Chairman, who's your AFB? I don't know. I didn't actually think about this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I started the whole four bit. People. Four people. Four people. Well. Want to know what? I guess it's going to be me today. <laughs> Pulling a trick out of my book. Sure. It's good. Raceland's <laughs> your book. Want to know why I may have be of the week? Because I was unprepared and I'm stealing Raceland's move. There you go. That's fine. You're allowed to. There you go. Anyway, I have an honorable mention. Who's your honorable mention? Me? Uh, no. <laughs> me? All of the other 40 teams um, outside of the Spurs for not drafting EJ Liddell earlier on. 
Oh, with a four, uh, 40 draft picks? I don't know about that one, Chief. And E.J. Liddell was E.J. Liddell was projected first round, he, mm-hmm. and he now is a Pelican. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They got a great player at a great place. Or in, in, in a great place. Yeah. I think it's a great fit, if you want me to be honest. But you know what? I, I think he's going to fit in great with uh, that. Fit in. Oh, very well. oh, he very well. I I just think he should have gone earlier. I agree. I think Malachi should have gone a little earlier, too, but that's just me. And- I see Malachi yeah. doing well with the Spurs. Nah, I, I think he's going to suck, honestly. I do, too. I want to know why. <laughs> just because he's with Sorry, the Spurs. Chris, I, I think he'll have a great career. I'm not a Spurs fan. I know I'm good at this. All right, go ahead. It's got to be the Lightning Man. How do you go up? And then you just... You're at home. You go up in the game. And then you blow it in overtime? You suck. Because of the legends. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Allegedly. Hey, PK said, yeah, that wouldn't have changed the game. This would have been a goal. And when they blow this lead today, yes. it would be even better. Yes. Boom. What are you going to say, though, when Colorado blows the 3-1 lead, though? Um, well, when that happens, um, you're going to spend an entire podcast in that room over there. Hey, yeah, you're, gonna, you're just going <laughs> to... At least we're still here, right? Here, here, here. The penalty box. No, you're here physically. Smile you're away. just not going to be able to talk. <laughs> Smile and wave, Clay. Smile and wave. All right, Dalton. Who you got for your AFU of the week? Oh, Kenny Chesney. Yeah, without a doubt, electric performance. Yeah, uh, hasn't been on tour in four years. Mm-hmm. That dude had a sweat line all the way down to his waistline after Jeez. doing a two and a half hour show. It was awesome, and it was great. The vibes were great. Everybody was having a good time. Uh, I was honestly, it's my number one concert, and uh, got a runner up. Um, the Avalanche for holding on this long. Seriously, the avalanche. I mean, I hope they take it. I hope they really do take it tonight. Um, so I know we probably we, we're not supposed to chime in, but I need to ask one question about the Kenny Chesney concert. Jesus Christ! Did, what did, What do you want? Did Did he sing some of his older stuff? Yeah, oh, yeah. Newer stuff? yeah, his encore song was uh, "She Thinks My Tractor Sexy." That was his encore. Did that That's a okay. As long as he didn't sing all of his new stuff. You, he, no, he did. He made, he had a very very good mix. Okay. Very good mix. That, I was going to say, Kenny usually mixes it. He passes the vibe check then for that concert. Oh, I, he's going to be in Columbus here soon. I, I mean, if, you, if you're a fan, go yeah, to Isn't that book I superfessed? Yes. Actually. Yes, because I was looking into it. You good? Go ahead. Are you done? Are you done? I'm Are you done. done tapping I, your foot at me right now? I, I never started. <laughs> I'm going to smack you right now. Rinslin, who's your AFU of the week? My AFU of the week got to be the Guardians. Yes. The youngest team, and again, all of baseball, not just not just in the MLB, yes. but their entire organization. Yes, their average age of batters is like twenty six point one, and the average age of pitchers is like twenty seven point two. Twenty seven point two. Yeah, I will be twenty seven. There you go. So yeah, the Guardians. Um, tied well, the first. card. Just hey, I want my every year man. getting closer. Every year getting closer. <laughs> every day you're getting closer. Hey, that too. Those two. Every second we're getting closer. Allegedly. I can't go any. You can't <laughs> millisecond. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. I mean, the youngest team in all of baseball right now, tied for first in the AL Central. Mm-hmm. Can't get any bigger than that. Yes. It's beautiful. It is. Clay, who's your AFU of the week? I got kind of the cliche answer to start off. I mean, every, every, every. Where did you learn that word? Big word. Well, why, mean, where you, um, why are you using meetings, college words? I don't know. His words. But uh, any player that was drafted last night for the NBA, I mean, it, it's obviously a special moment in their time, and I congratulate every player. But I want to s- highlight three different teams that I believe had, did the best. The Thunder, they have a great young core. You got Shea, Josh Giddy, and now drafting Chet Holgram. I'm curious on how Chet's going to do. I think he might get bodied in the NBA, but we'll see, obviously. I think that they have a lot of potential and obviously have a bunch of first-round picks in coming years. The Pistons, they got Jaden Ivey to uh, put with Cade Cunningham. Mm-hmm. I think that is going to be a great backcourt duo. And with that team, they think they got the most salary cap right now, too, okay. in the NBA. So they can make a move to possibly make a run to make the playoffs as well. Yeah, And honestly, the Pelicans as well. They obviously still EJ Liddell. They're at 41st, and I think them picking Dyson Daniels in the first round, I think he's going to be a great point guard for that offense. Yeah. He plays defense, and I think he's going to be a great facilitator for that offense. For That's just really what they need. I think the Pelicans can make a run for a 7 or 8 seed, too, or a playing game. Did you see who got drafted last night? Who? Nikola Jocic. Oh, yeah. 
His his name is like exactly like Jokic's, but instead of a K, it's a V. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's damn near the same. And I so, think that Thunder <laughs> drafted somebody with the same name too, or someone drafted players with the same name. Yeah. So That's before wild. we get to you, Chris, uh, I have to read a couple comments. Nice. First thing, uh, your mom said, "Oh, watch Dalton," and then said, "Watch a Dalton." And then uh, Sarah chimed in and said, I need a trophy for putting up with you. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say, I think we all do. (laughs) Hey, Dalton. Hey, Dalton. This is a family stream. (laughs) Chris, what is your AFU of the week? All right. Well, before I do my AFU, I'm going to do an honorable mention. My honorable mention is going to be Luke Holmes. He just dropped. That was a short trip to the penalty box. Who said you could come back? <laughs> Stay here. Come on, I'm not risking. Oh, uh, go. <laughs> Should I say? Or should I go? sit down? <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Continue. Sorry, nah, Chris. you're. Fine. I, I, I really. Don't. Anyway, honorable mention was Luke Holmes. He did drop a new single, and I know he's got some tours coming up. Dude, new album. Yeah, he's new a album. album. Yeah, single. Yeah. New album. But I know it was at least a single by new. Well, he started with the single, coming. and now it's the album. Dude, the album is so good. Yep. Well, I know. I'm listening to when I'm yes, in. You need to so, it. It's that Yes, yep. I know. But, I mean, I'm also a Luke Holmes fan. He he fits the country style well. So, But my actual AFU... And this one's going to be a little close to home. Uh, it's actually My AFU is actually going to be one of my former coaches, Coach Doug Pryor. He just got the nod, and he is on the coaching staff at Reynoldsburg High School. He was a hell of a coach when I was coaching at Marion Harding. He was a defensive line. Is there yeah, he did one, the defensive line. Is there only one Reynoldsburg? Or is there multiple? Like I think it's just the one. I think yeah, it's Reynoldsburg Pirates. I have to check. No, I... I'm with you. I thought Reynoldsburg, Reynoldsburg, Reynoldsburg was like high school. Pick, you know, they got pick north, pick central, pick west. I think Reynolds works just one. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. But well, congratulations. That's all. Yeah. But yeah, Coach Pryor getting another Coach Nod. And I actually, he was at Chillicothe for a little bit. I went down to one of his games at Chillicothe and he got the win down there. But to hear he's still doing his coaching career, it's just awesome. And I know I enjoyed him at Marion Harding and him still carrying the torch and his legacy being a coach at Reynoldsburg. And I hope every young player looks up to him as one of the best coaches. So definitely ecstatic to hear coach Pryor is still coaching and doing what he loves. Absolutely. So chairman, are you bringing ready this time? Do we have to give you a second? Yeah. Give me a second. Don't yeah. Yeah. one. I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> it's his job. He so the turn in the punch bowl. Continue. First things first, I I feel like I have a few here. Um, so first thing is first, uh, Arch Manning, no. because so here's the deal. You want to know why? Well, no. uh, he didn't fully commit, but want to know what he now has everybody doing? Well, no. talking about Arch Manning, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that is an Same absolute win to him. You want to know why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here, but, he's right oh. now saying ah ah ah. ah. <laughs> I play ah. playing the pot. Oh, uh. Oh, yeah. my <laughs> well, and he has a great shining spot for the Steelers. We yes, were going to be the starting center. Come on now. At Pittsburgh Steelers. Big bands. <laughs> Big bands. Uh, number two, uh, absolute unit of the week. Uh, this pizza came in clutch today because I really oh, needed it. Oh, my gosh. I had not eaten since breakfast. <laughs> Dude, I have yeah, thanks, for, thanks for not okay. calling me this morning, jackass. Uh, no. You just texted me this morning. No, so here's the deal. You don't get a pass because yesterday you are home at 3 a.m. Yeah. Meow. Mom and dad are fighting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you said yesterday, I talked to you. You said, I will be there. Dude, you want to know the number? I know that I'm coming home. You know home. what number, number beer that was? I there you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Seven Beer Dalton should have been prepared for whatever Beer Dalton, which probably was like close to 20 for standard 16s. Okay, so Seven Beer Dalton should have been thinking about 12 Beer Dalton and what he would have been doing. Well, 12 Beer Dalton doesn't know what Seven Beer Dalton was thinking. Okay, yeah. (laughs) So, maybe start... Maybe... Maybe you should have a long, thoughtful conversation with 12 Beer Dalton, okay? 
Maybe even Doug. You, you, no, no. Not your dog involved. No, no, no. Dr. Doug. Dr. Doug. Sweet. <laughs> you did that to yourself. I did. Dr. Doug. I don't have it moved over. <laughs> I don't have it moved over. You, you, oh, the Doug. Yeah. Doug, 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 Doug. Oh, <laughs> but, chef's kiss. That was uh, a great birthday surprise. It was. Too. I loved it. The guys love doing it for yeah, me. Yeah, I, I definitely, love it. definitely thank for the for this pizza. I I had not known about the yeah, uh, cheeseburger totally pizza done. from the OK. I did not know about it. Oh, dude, it, it's it's great. The pickles on it, it, it makes it. Yeah, it, it was, makes it was it. top. I think if there's one thing I would I add to it, yeah, is onion. Yeah, I would say a little onion, bit onion, a little bit onion. onion, maybe some maters. Stop some it, like tomatoes. Stop it. You don't like onion? You're picky. What? I thought you were a picky eater, aren't you? Hmm. Allegedly, bro, you can't. Well, I, I don't even start. Don't even <laughs> start. I mean, stop it. Everyone's gonna stop. think I'm a hater if I stalk, so I'm just biting my tongue over here. No, man, you don't like coffee. You said ranch is the devil. It is. Oh my god, it's horrid. Mm. And you only have pepperoni sausage on pizza. Yes, yeah. that's the only oh, thing pepperoni mushroom is the Midwest staple of pizza. Mm -hmm. It's Midwest. I would probably actually throw up if I've been into a pizza. Your uh, opinion is mid. Mushroom. Your oh, opinion's mid. Midwest? No, hold on. No. <laughs> Ham, chicken, bacon, sausage. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say pepperoni and then ham and chicken? And sausage. Make a pull. And bacon. What kind meat of meat lovers? Can, what the? Huh? All meat. Chicken? Yes. All, all meat? Chicken on pizza is great. I know it is, but mm -hmm. chicken. <laughs> don't sit. Time to make 14 beer mountain. Oh, no, I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying like all at once. I'm just saying like great. No, he's rating them. No, he's I'm rating just saying, his toppings. I'm just saying great toppings. Oh, okay. Toppings. I thought you were rating your toppings. No, no that, I'm not rating them. Uh, that might like be a stuff. special, to be honest. Let's just simmer hey, down. You know, we hey, we're talking about a special. And I yeah. want to do a food special. No, we are going to do another food and tailgate What we need to do, we need to just come up, like, do our own Mount Rushmore things. Like, I think that was a segment we should, like, just do our own. We need we need to make it, like, significant mm -hmm. to us, though. Yeah. Like, everybody else does a Mount Rushmore. Yeah. That sucks. Mine's going to be pretty small for everything. <laughs> well, I ain't you picking. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm, I'm probably the pickiest eater that you guys would ever. Take nuggies. Yeah. <laughs> take, take, take your favorite fast food sandwich, your favorite fast food fry, the drink, and if you want to, a dessert. Fuck it. Let's do it right now. Let's not do it right now. I'm not prepared. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not ready either. I I feel uh, like yeah, I need to there. prepare for this. If I got, yeah, we're not we you, right Dalton. Right if I did, I'm, I'm just throwing it off. It's all right here. I'm ready to go 24 7. go. Sarah said, Ranch is not the devil. How dare you speak such language? <laughs> That's my Sarah. You've just been spited, smited, and spited. <laughs> Oh my lord! So that's like no. I got one other uh, AFU of the week. You got one last? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my mom's birthday today. Yes. I just want to say happy birthday, mom. She's happy forty-nine. Birthday. She's gonna kill 49. you. Forty-nine. Gonna... Why? That's that's one of those unwritten rules. Well, you just never say your mom's age. You don't say the age of a woman at all. Yeah. Yeah. Who made this? Who? Where did you never heard of this? She has, she hasn't crossed the bridge yet to where you don't like say the age. I feel like once you hit fifty, that's when you quit saying the age. Yeah. Oh yeah! No, I, I, so, I, I it was always forty. Yeah, so she's gonna what be it? so she's gonna be forty. Oh, she said age in general. Yeah, she's gonna be forty nine forever. Yeah, that's that. Thanks for saving my yeah. ass. <laughs> good scene, good scene. He's still gonna get his ass chewed. I had my my third school cool. teacher said once she hit like forty nine, she didn't go up to fifty. She started going back down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. My mom actually, my mom's big thing is age is just a number. I mean, it's true. It really is. Twenty six, and I feel like I'm ninety two, but. No comment. No comment. Yeah. Did, did anybody get that? I uh, call what you said. I said this. No Slide comment. <laughs> no comment. But, Rayson, what do you got? No, I have a fourth thing that can't be said on air. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know if we're thinking in the same boat. No, I come my hat and then I just chimed in and I'm like, wait, did I just say that? I was right. What? Sarah commented too. You never say a woman's age. Thank you. I fucked up. Yes. Thank you, Sam. You got it on two levels now. You're done. Yeah, yeah you're definitely in the doghouse. I'm going. Don't get wicked. I'm going to timeout, boys. I'm going to timeout. Just Miss Kitty gonna go put you in timeout. Miss Kitty gonna smack the shit. One of my I feel like you need to end it out in the penalty box over there, Chief. Yeah, I'll be in the box. So. <laughs>
to be honest with you, I don't I don't feel like there should be any other closing comments. No. I feel like that's where we need that's to be it. ending on this I guy. I think that's the final thought. Rat not eat. She was in Dollar General at the time. He may be sick for months. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> on that note, yeah. I will thank you for listening to Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. <gasps> that note, buddy, I think we're going to be getting here. But uh, I think that is all we're going to have, sir. I, uh, I I feel like it's a good stopping point. It I is, just It is. That'd be good for you. Thank you for listening to the Not Your Average Sports Fan Podcast. Please give a review and smash that like and follow button. Where are we going? Ralphie's? Ralphie's? Yes, sir. Sounds good. Cool.